Hello, this is John Robertson and today's uh, progress video. Let you know what's going on with myself, Bottomless Studio, and you know, all that. Um, so, anyway, it's been a while since my last video and uh, having looked at the last one, I decided to try this one not holding the phone <laughs> as, I, as I film it because that was, yeah, that, that must have been a bit of a neck breaker watching things on there. So, anyway, uh, what have I been up to? Well, first of all, as you can probably see, different setting. I've moved since the last time. Um, and actually that caused a bit of a huge expense, so um, I'll uh, probably have a link uh, to a couple of things, including a bunch of stuff of mine that's going on sale, actually is on sale on eBay. Uh, now, remember these videos are somewhat casual um, and unpolished, so I apologize for all the stuttering I'm going to be doing here, because I do that when I'm speaking off the cuff. Anyway, so uh, last time I showed you some paintings i have been trying. Um, I've never really done watercolors or any other kind of painting or integrated that into my work. Although, when I did uh, start doing art, um, I did try something like that with uh, colored inks. Um, it's at Windsor Newton colored inks. Um, but it didn't really work and I gave it up. So this is actually kind of a return to a technique that I started out with, um, integrating Indian drawing and painting. Uh, so anyway, um, since the last time uh, uh, I did a video, uh, I've done a, a couple more, and uh, here's one of them. Can get a good look at that. You know what? Let's take let's just take it out of the plastic. Um, it, I mean, protecting it's all good, but if it's shining all over, you can't really see. Okay, there we go. Now, you're probably now wishing that I hadn't taken it out of the plastic. Um, but this is a guppy, uh, and uh, if you actually read it verbally, that ends up having a bit of a double meaning given what's going on here. Um, I would say there's a little bit of a metaphor in this one uh, this time around, but these are, of course, are depicting uh, my character Susie Spreadwell's um, fantasies that uh, her, uh, basically, uh, her hormones going up against her purity pledge are kind of going at her now that she's an adult. Um, this actually refers to something that will be going on later on in the series um, because I uh, will be having a scene later on where she is talking to her reverend, and well, uh, her reverend is not exactly what he appears to be, as that painting probably implies. Um, so anyway, uh, the most recent one I did was this one, which was actually kind of an expansion on the second one, uh, which depicted her sort of dreaming. There was a big sort of thought bubble where a portion of the painting was. So anyway, here's this. This one's called Lake of Fire, which I guess is a fairly obvious title. Um, I was actually thinking of the Meat Puppet song when I first came up with it. Um, and I actually wasn't expecting this one to come out uh, in my opinion, as well as it did. Um, this was this is actually my favorite one. Um, and all of these are available for sale from me uh, if uh, you just contact me at john.roberson, R-O-B-E-R-S-O-N, at gmail.com. And I do take PayPal. Uh, fairly reasonable. Or you could go to Saatchi Art and pay the prices there or at Society6, and if you go to jlroberson.org, you'll see links to all this stuff uh, right there on the front page. Um, you can actually get a fairly inexpensive poster of it, or a print if you're so inclined. Um, but it, all of the paintings are up there, and all available. Um, let's see, what else? Right now I'm in Facebook jail, because I because unfortunately I posted one of those in a closed group, I might add, that has nudes, and uh, that seemed a little strange to me. Um, I have also uh, resumed um, sh uh, 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 Susie, the actual story pages, um, and I've actually, apart from the first page, which I penciled but I inked uh, digitally, 
Um, uh, in this particular case, I have been uh, doing actual inked pages on Bristol paper, uh, which I haven't done for a very long time because ink and uh, cats, well, cats like to use ink bottles as toys sometimes, let's put it that way. Um, so here is page two, since page one did not end up being physically inked. And actually, you can go to Patreon, and for free, actually, you can see the finished pages with the lettering and coloring and everything. But this is the uh, original art. Also available from me if you, if you would like to purchase some. Um, and that's, that was page two. Uh, what's going on in this particular one is, I guess, sort of a, a flashback to Susie's childhood. Um, and her, a, a day that she spent with her mom and something else that happens and I'm not going to spoil because that comes later but um, here is the let's see the third page and the blue you see that's a non uh, photo blue pencil um, and uh, some of us sometimes use it to do all the pencils I personally use it to do the under pencils basically to make sure that my pencils are nice and solid um, so I actually go through uh, like two phases of penciling before I get to the inks. Um, I just I just feel more secure doing that way. I don't like to pencil directly into graphite. It ends up being too messy. I have a hard time keeping track of what I'm, uh, I'm of the lines I'm doing, and it's much easier if I work it out in something light and uh, uh, something that doesn't print. Uh, although that doesn't really make much. Uh, difference in the days of scanners. I mean, really, you can pick any color mostly, but blue seems to be the easiest. Uh, so anyway, that's what I'm up to so far. Obviously, Susie's Spreadwell number one is available, as is The Sickness number eight and uh, Lulu book one. And actually, also, uh, at Patreon, um, you can read uh, Lulu book uh, uh, two, the first two chapters of that. Uh, which is uh, over 40 pages um, if you subscribe. And I have a, two subscription levels. One is $1, and that gives you access to pretty much most things that I put up, especially new. Um, and, and like I said, it's just $1, although, you know, you can contribute more, but that's just the minimum level. Uh, that would be literally the bottom level, because we are a bottomless studio, so, you know, branding. Anyway, uh, the uh, second level is uh, the five dollar level, um, and the five dollar level um, allows you to look at the most explicit stuff that um, Patreon, first of all, will not allow me to publish uh, um, publicly. I have to uh, tie those down as uh, patron-only posts. So the only way you're going to see anything with Vladrushka, for instance, and stuff like that is going to be uh, through at Patreon uh, if you subscribe. Um, also, if you contribute five thousand dollars a month, I'll never draw anything again. But you know, we'll see if that if that works out. Anyway, sorry, uh, had a bit of an interruption there. Anyway, uh, so that's what I've been up to. Um, also, I have a massive amount of stuff I've put up from my what remains of my collection at eBay. Um, and this includes an awful lot of uh, comics, uh, including a bunch of lots, frankly. It includes Black Kiss 2, uh, a lot of everybody's favorite, apparently, Micronauts, um, uh, uh, some toys. Uh, let's see, what else? We have some Alan Moore there, uh, Providence, the entire series. Um, so, God, so, uh, so many different things, really. Uh, let's see, we have several issues of Comic Book Artists, the, his, the History magazine put out by Tomorrow's, including um, the Warren issue, number four, which is uh, actually signed by Bernie Wrightson. It was part of a limited series uh, of them that they uh, offered directly, and I snapped up one of those at the time, so I still have it, and so I'm selling it. Also, some issues of Bernie Wrightson's Swamp Thing. Um, a complete set of Alan Davis's The Nail. Um, let's see, uh, 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 yeah, uh, basically Frank Miller's uh, Give Me Liberty, uh, an issue of Frank Miller's Daredevil, uh, and, th and this is back from, uh, w from 1982, actually. Or actually, I think it's 81. 
um, and just a bunch of other things, uh, 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 and I will probably include a link to those at the end as well, but you can also go to <clears throat> my website's blog, jlroberson.blogspot.com, uh, uh, and uh, you can see a notice on, about that. Um, anyway, that is what we're up to, and l like I said, thank you all to all of my um, patrons. I really appreciate it, and if you would like to subscribe, please do so today, because I could really use your uh, support. Thanks very much, and help me keep making comics, and I hope everyone is having a lovely day.